Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I just want to give you a little information on how to test your pool chemicals and how to adjust them so everything comes out correctly. I use these little test strips I got off Amazon for like six bucks. They're pretty simple. You take your strip out, you dip it in water about six inches deep, and you pull it back out, and then you compare it to the side. And anything within this range here, these little boxes, when you hold it up, is okay. And as you can see, my alkalinity and my pH is really low. And the easiest way to pull that up is, well, baking soda. If, you know, your chlorine's low, you just go out and you buy chlorine. Your free chlorine's low, you go out and buy chlorine, you get tablets, you put them in your skimmer. But if your pool's cloudy and your chlorine, if your pool's cloudy and your chlorine's high, because I just did a double thing of shock, as you can tell by the giant pile of leaves in the middle of the pool there, that I got plenty of chlorine, not by the pile of leaves, but from the test strip, and low alkalinity and low pH. If you bring up your alkalinity levels, it'll hold your pH and it'll keep your chlorine longer. Yeah, I buy this 12 pound bag of baking soda. I get it at uh, Walmart for a couple dollars, I don't know how much. And for every pound of baking soda, you can get 10 points. We can raise your alkalinity level of your pool by 10 points per, I think 10,000 gallons. So it's a 5,000 gallon pool here. And it's really low. And if I can get this set up, there we go. I'll just throw in a couple jars full. It's not no exact measurement. It's not going to hurt anything. Just take it like you would chlorine powder and throw it in the water. Like I said, about a pound should do it. Just an old pickle jar, so I'm going to fill it up like three times and throw it in there. I'm going to come back in about an hour and show you how clear my pool will be just from the baking soda and raising the alkalinity level. So I'll see you then. Alright, I hope you could tell. But it's been about, I don't know if it's been exactly an hour, but it's, it's close an hour. And I've only threw in a couple scoops of baking soda, but the clarity has improved a lot. So what I'm going to do is throw in a couple more scoops of baking soda and let it run for another hour or two and all the pH levels and alkalinity levels will be back on par and it'll be completely clear again but that is the simplest solution to your pH and your alkalinity is just buy a big bag of baking soda and throw it in here once your alkalinity is at its level in the okay range I can't remember the number exactly it'll help your chlorine to not evaporate as quickly and it'll last longer so your free chlorine levels will stay up also hopefully this helps you guys and you know, if I can find any other cheats or hacks or whatever you want to call it for pool care I'll be sure to let you know um, feel free to subscribe if you like this video thanks guys bye